Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with Google API OAuth. Our viewer is facing an error that reads, not a valid origin for the client. Let's dive into the details. So what's the problem? Our viewer is trying to send a request from a local path but they're getting an error message indicating that their origin isn't whitelisted for their project's client ID. This can be a common hurdle when setting up OAuth for local development. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error message indicates that the origin you're using is not whitelisted for your Google API client ID. To resolve this, we need to ensure that the correct origin is added to your Google Cloud project. First, navigate to the Google Cloud Console. Select your project, then go to the Credentials section. Here you will find your OAuth 2.0 client IDs. Next, ensure that you have added the correct origin. In your case, you should add HTTP 17.01 to 8887 to the Authorized JavaScript Origins section. After updating the origins, save your changes. Then refresh your application and try signing in again. This should resolve the issue. If you continue to experience issues, double check that your client ID in the code matches the one in the Google Cloud Console. This is crucial for successful authentication. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the not a valid origin for the client error, one user found success by deleting and recreating their API credentials, just as suggested. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The error message, not a valid origin for the client, is often misleading, as it can also indicate authentication issues. If you encounter this error, double-check your credentials. Sometimes, users find that recreating their credentials resolves the issue. This may be because the original credentials were incorrect. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of invalid origins in Google API OAuth, the user added both htpopolhash localhost and htslay localhost 883 as valid origins. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the not a valid origin for the client error with Google API OAuth, remember that changes may take some time to apply. It can take anywhere from five minutes to a few hours for your settings to take effect. 
Just be patient as waiting resolve the issue for one user. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. A user encountered an issue with the Google sign-in web package for Flutter. They mistakenly duplicated the apps.googleusercontent.com part of their client ID in the meta tag. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please just shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.